Hello. So I'm gonna walk you through how to get started on the group project for uh, BA 211, Principles of Accounting 1. So this is the Blackboard site for the course. Uh, there is some information on this in the intro video and in the welcome announcement. But what I, what I need you to do is go ahead and go to the group project linked on the left. It says group project, click on that. That's gonna bring up uh, several links for you. Okay, so the top link should be the group project instructions. So when you click on that, it's gonna open up uh, an online Word document that's gonna have instructions on how to do the project. So make sure to read that first. Okay, so you're gonna to wanna to read that. It breaks down the purpose of the assignment of the group project, instructions, and uh, how to submit your group project and the evaluations. There's also going to be, when you first get started, right, you're going to need to add yourself to a group, right? You're going to need to enroll in a group. So once you've enrolled in a group, okay, you, you click the groups button, right, and that'll, it'll allow you to enroll in a group. Once you've enrolled in a group, then the link for the, the group that you're enrolled in should come up when you click on the groups link. Since I'm the instructor, all the groups come up, right? So in this class, there's six groups. Most everybody has five people in their group. One group only has three. Uh, that's fine. That's kind of the way that we had to do it in this, this term anyways. So, so we've got all the groups set, right? So group enrollment set. So when you go into your group link, then you're gonna have the option where you can email, communicate with, with other students, and where you can save and share documents. Uh, you may not wanna use the group link necessarily besides just getting the email and being able to communicate with your, your group initially, right? So there's a lot of groups that will actually share uh, numbers so they can text each other back and forth or other emails that they may want to use to communicate whatever you want to do just make sure you can communicate with your group members okay so let's let's talk about what the group project it's in the instructions that you're gonna read but let's just talk about what the group project is all about you're supposed to do the serial problems at the back of the chapters so we see here a link. This is the third link down, right? Term Project Part 1, Chapters 1 through 4. So every chapter has one serial problem. Okay, it's going to be the same company throughout all the chapters. But you're going to do something that you learn in that chapter. You're going to do that for the company, right? So for example, Chapter 1 is found in your textbook. If you have the hard copy textbook, it, the serial problem for chapter one starts on page 47. That's on this, that's in the 22nd edition, right? Um, and it looks like this, right? So it's after, so the, there's different type of assignments at the back of the chapter, right? So you're gonna have your uh, quick study, your exercises, your problem sets, and then at, after the problem sets, there will be a serial problem. And it looks like this. In red, it has serial problem up there. And so this is what you're supposed to be doing. It even has some, in pink, it has kind of some uh, check and balances to help you make sure you get at least some of the right balances to make sure you're on track. Okay, so you're, you're gonna do a serial problem like this. It's gonna be different, uh, a different exercise, right? Different things you need to do for each chapter. We're, we have nine chapters in, the, in this term. So you're gonna to need to assign out the work for these serial problems in your group. You're gonna to need to decide, okay, who's gonna do maybe chapter one, or maybe there's a couple people that are gonna do chapter one, or, or maybe you're uh, gonna divide a couple chapters out, out that seem a little easier than a harder chapter, one hard chapter for maybe one student. Whatever you wanna do, it's up to you as a group. You need to send me your group plan. So once you get your plan together as a group, email it to me. Keep in mind when you're making your group plan that the first part of the project, chapters one through four, is gonna be due at midterm, okay? When the midterm is due, at the end of that midterm week. Part two, chapters five through nine, is gonna be due at the end of finals week, okay? So two parts. 
So you, you may want to decide that you're all going to focus on the first part and get it done and turned in, and then everybody's going to focus on the second part and turned in. It's, it's really, and, and this is in the purpose of the instructions as well, group work in accounting is normal. Right? This is not some crazy thing that, well, it may be a crazy thing, but this is not something that doesn't happen in the real world when you do accounting. When you do accounting, whether it's with a large corporation, it's pretty obvious that there's a lot of accountants that work together and pass work off to one another and, and review each other's work and help each other. Even in a super small business, or maybe there's just one accountant in the whole business, that one accountant is still gonna be working with uh, people in the company, the owners of the company, whoever that is, or at least they're going to be working with an accountant that helps them prepare taxes, that that uh, helps maybe if they have an audit or anything, they're going to be doing accounting work with them. So accounting at work very, very rarely is done alone. Okay, The information is intended to be passed on to people, reviewed, and to get feedback back and maybe to make corrections and improvements. So when you do this, one of the most important things to remember is review each other's work. Don't take it personal if somebody says, hey, you know, you did this wrong, it's supposed to be this way. It's okay, you're learning, everybody's working as a group. If you, if you wanna pass it by me as well, feel free, I just did it this morning. I just reviewed some work that a group had, has done for the first couple chapters. Uh, they look good, so I was able to give them some feedback on that. And you know, if they looked horrible, I'd give them feedback and try to keep get them on track as well. Use me as a resource. Okay. One last thing. All of you, you and your teammates, are going to be part of an evaluation at midterm and finals week. So you individually, as a group member we'll need to do a group evaluation of each group member. This is done through these links down here at the bottom. So at midterm, evaluate your group. Give me a ranking, you know, give me a score of everybody, how they participated, what their attitude was, were they available. Group member evaluation for the final, same thing. So, and they will evaluate you as well, right? You're gonna evaluate everybody in your group and everybody's gonna evaluate you. And so, this could affect your grade, right? So I, I know maybe a, a, a few group members may not get along, that's okay, whatever the case is, as long as everybody kind of does their work, right, and helps out. If there is a group member that, that bails out on the group, that doesn't do the work, and that comes up in, in uh, if there's a pattern that I see in the evaluations that a group member did not pull their weight, it's going to lower the uh, the person's score for this assignment. Okay. Having said that, the, the assignment, both of these together are, are worth 100 points. So that's 10% of your total grade. Uh, not necessarily a super disaster, right? Unless you want to get an A or uh, a better grade. Uh, you know, you can probably still pass the class without doing the group project. But um, you can also, it's also going to help you. It should be fairly easy points, right? A lot of other people are going to be helping you do the work. It's easy points to get that 100 points for the group project. As long as you communicate and everybody does their part. So I hope this helps. Uh, get started. If you have a hard time communicating with group members, send them emails. Uh, expectations are, are a key point to group work, right? If you expect them to email you back within the hour, that may not be realistic expectations. People work, especially with online classes, so maybe give them a little little time. Hopefully everybody's at least getting back to you maybe within 24 hours. Uh, that's maybe a more reasonable expectation. As well, they may not get on it and, and do their part you know, during the first week. It may take them a couple weeks to get their part done, whatever the case is, right? So just make sure to lay out those expectations. If you know you're going to take some time getting something done, let your group know. Say, hey, this is going to take me a couple weeks or whatever the case is, right? Uh, some, you know, the most problems I have with group assignments is when somebody says, hey, I'm not going to do it until midterm week or I'm not going to do it until finals week. I have, have all these other classes. I'm going to get to it at the very last minute. Just totally stresses other group members out. Let them know that that's what you're going to do. 
So they expect it. They say, hey, they're going to turn it in. They say they're going to do it last minute. And at least we know that that's what they're going to do. And if that's not okay with the other group members, then at least you communicated that and they have a chance to maybe step up and help you out. Whatever you need to do, communicate expectations, super important. So anyways, uh, and feel free to get me, get me in the loop if you have any problems with your group. Email me, say, hey, you know, we're having a problem in the group, whatever it is, and I will help kind of be a mediator, an arbitrator, whatever the case is, and help your group move forward. Talk to you later. Have a good day. Bye.